Today is April the 21st, which means we have reached both the 94th birthday of Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II and the third annual World Curlew Day. It is an appropriate time for a day dedicated to the world's curlews, as many are moving to their summer breeding grounds and treating the residents of northern England to their extraordinary, and some might say quite spooky, calls. The sound of the curlew, which is thought to have inspired their name, has also inspired poets throughout history, not just because of its eerie tone, but also the evocative estuary settings where curlews are usually found. The poet Dylan Thomas and composer Benjamin Britten are amongst a number of creative figures that have lifted their pen to muse on the call of the curlew. But their influence on British culture goes back much further, to at least the 10th century, when one of the country's earliest recorded poems tells of a seafarer lamenting hearing the sound of the curlew instead of the laughter of men during a long voyage at sea. There is a story which goes back even further, to the time of the 7th century Welsh monasteries. According to legend, an abbot by the name of St. Baino dropped his prayer book into the water off the Welsh coast and witnessed a curlew scooping it up into his bill and returning the book to his boat. The abbot then declared that all curlew should be protected, which is, of course, the reason why their nests can be hard to find. This brings us back to why today of all days honours the curlew, as the 21st of April is also St. Baino's feast day. The Eurasian curlew belongs to a genus consisting of eight large wading birds that have a widespread distribution and includes the little curlew, the long-billed curlew, and far eastern curlew, which is the largest migratory bird in the world. Eskimo curlew was once one of the most numerous shorebirds in North America, but a mixture of overhunting, habitat degradation, and the extinction of important prey species reduced the numbers dramatically in the 1800s. At one point, as many as two million birds were being killed for their meat and feathers every year. There have now been no confirmed sightings since the 1960s, so although the species is listed as critically endangered, it is widely assumed to have gone extinct. There is more hope for the slender-billed curlew, a species believed by some ornithologists to be extinct, but with one verified sighting back in 2004. Today, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature has this species listed as critically endangered, meaning as few as 50 individuals remain, but the actual numbers are unknown. Happily, the Eurasian curlew still has around 66,000 breeding pairs in the United Kingdom, and an estimated 425 to 584,000 mature individuals worldwide. There used to be many more of these birds on our shoreline here in Britain, but whilst in the past curlews were a key ingredient in some Cornish pies and were available from some butchers as late as 1942, today the depletion of their habitats is one of a few modern threats that have brought about a dramatic decline in the number of these birds since the 1950s and a 30% population crash in the last 10 years. World Curlew Day has been established to raise awareness of the trouble still faced by curlew species around the world today. It seems appropriate that our first episode should mark this important day by playing out with the bird's famous eerie call. So for the time being, it's just up to me to wish you a very happy World Curlew Day and listen out for this call next time we get the chance to visit your nearest estuary.